you know, maybe like that is a little bit better. I think I'm watching into the screen eh, to control what I do and how it looks. And I think that uh, like that is probably better. All right. So let's let's do let's put our the base of our car or future car okay this is the wheel that is on the other side okay it's more or less it's here okay and as you can see i go very light i don't want to be too dark so that's what you have to do as i say also on during my thursday's lectures be light be light don't go too too heavy it's useless so this one here okay so now you can see we already have our two wheels the shout of the back wheels and we have the base of our car which looks pretty pretty nice Now let's work a little bit the, uh, the lines just to make sure that we can, uh, you know, that we have a real... Okay, so now we have our base, all right? Ciao Manuel Venturini, buonasera, signor Bobe, grazie per quello che fa. Spero di imparare molto da lei. Sorry guys, this is pure Italian. Grazie, grazie Manuel. Tu guarda, se ci riesci, meglio per me. Se vuoi seguirmi in diretta, quindi con me che ti fa delle correzioni e, e fare molti bozzetti come per due ore, per 5 euro il, il giovedì, alla stessa ora, alle 5 alle 7, io sono in diretta su Meet, ok? Si paga su PayPal e poi ti posso mandare le informazioni. Se ti interessa, è una interactive class that I'll take, ok che io faccio con questo week questo giovedì con otto persone e se tu vuoi venire sarete, sarete in nove per me, a me fa molto piacere mi scrivi su luciano bove chiocciola yahoo.com e io ti spiego come si fa ok perfetto allora continuiamo let's keep on going sorry guys for the italian this is was for manuel ok so now we have a sort of uh, you know I, let, let me let me put a, our body you know let's make it a little bit uh, squarish so that it's kind of easy for you easier for you to understand what the hell we are doing all right okay all right so this is just to give us uh, uh prego prego Manuel. this is just to 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 get uh how can i say sort of proportions okay maybe they are wrong maybe they are right we don't know yet but it gives me the opportunity to block in something on a secure base all right so now um, let me go here okay now we have the center line as you remember i always say the center line is very important okay it's here Let's make those wheels a little bit bigger, okay? Of course, the minor axis, which is this one, goes to the infinite, al infinito, to the infinite, okay? Why? Because we are on a parallel perspective. All the lines go to vanishing points that are on the right and on the left, but they are far away so far away that all the lines don't converge okay as as uh, as they do but in this case they just are kind of parallel all right so our center line is here all right and now we can we could sketch our car but before we do i want just to 
to check a little bit better the proportions, okay? And as you can see, I'm changing a little bit the inclination of the front hood, okay, the center line, to make sure that it looks, uh, it looks good. This wheel maybe should be here, all right? A little bit more in the front. And now I show you how I do to check if what I'm doing is good or is really bad, you know. So now, now I will, uh, I will show you. This is just a block, okay? So I take my page, all right? And what do I do? I flip it over, and I see against the light to see if something is wrong. And I tell you, nothing looks bad. So the secret, when you, when you want to check your perspective, if the perspective is right or wrong, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's normal that we make some mistakes at the very beginning, okay? You have to take your sketch, flip it over, check it against the light, and you will see all the lines, okay? Let me do it like that. And I see all the lines, and I realize whether something is wrong or, so, or everything looks nice. You know? All right, so far, so good. So, we can continue, all right? Let me turn the light again, okay? So, because this looks nice, let me, let me start thinking a little bit about, uh, about the design. I mean, of course, I want to put some... Uh, some uh, creative content, okay? Okay. So let me let me work on the lines. You see the first modification I made is in this area. The point before was here where we have the, the end of the windshield. But I push it back a little bit to make this color a little bit more aer aer aerodynamic looking, okay? and also helps the proportions. Now, the same thing I want to do on the hood, where the section is a little bit too flat, I'm just making a little bit more curved, okay? Same thing I will do here. And same thing on the center line. Okay, so the back, the back, something is wrong. I don't know. I, I mean, in terms of design. So let, let, let's do this. Yeah, maybe it's better like that. What do you think? Do you like more like that? Then we have the belt line that I think we should... Uh, I don't know. For example, if we keep the front area at this level, the back one, we can uh, already, we can try to do something like that. You know? It looks nice like that. What do you think? I hope you are sketching, huh? All right, so so let's let's put some lights, okay?
Now, because I have the center line, I know how to judge where the light is going to be on the other side. That's why I put the center line. That's why it's so important. Okay, we apply a little bit of graphics just to give the idea of the side air intakes, okay? And then, of course, we will have uh, in this area, this is, uh, let's say that this is an electrical car, we still need an entry for the air because even electric car need to have air coming to cool down all the battery system and stuff like that. Okay, you see? Now, little by little, our car is coming out. All right, so, now. So here we could imagine something like that. I go fast just to, to have a feel of, uh, of the shape. After I will, uh, I will recopy this one because we're going to apply some nice markers to make uh, a shading. Okay, so this is the first part of, uh, of, our, of our life, which is basically understand what we're doing. Okay. Quick sketching. A little bit of reflection here. Here too. Okay, let's do it. As you can see, always make a shading, dark light, dark light. And also here there is a shading, dark light, dark light. Now I go a little bit into some little detailing, okay? Okay, maybe this is too thin. Should modify that. Okay, this is good to to understand really the proportions. When we put the, the light and shadow, then we really see much, much better what we are doing. And then next step will be to, to make corrections, you know.
All right, so now what I'll do, I will just add the doors because the, to add the doors will help us to understand the, pro, the real proportion of this card. Okay, so if we want to make a little bit of graphics, like today's modern cars, you know, we could do something like that. So, what do you think so far? It looks pretty nice. I mean, it looks balanced. Maybe this one looks a little bit uh, sh short, pinched, you know? So when I will, I will retrace this one, I think that I have to bring this a little bit up just to make sure that it doesn't look too pinched compared to the rest of the body in terms of proportions. Anybody, anything to, to write? All right, so now let's trace it okay oops you know when you sketch always have the whole stack of paper underneath because that will help a lot the quality of your lines because it's like soft surface it's like a, there is a suspension surface okay all right well, this paper is not very transparent, but that's okay. I can see. The This is another paper. It's not the Canson. This is a marker paper with a, uh, another brand. Which one? The, it's a layout pad, Clairefontaine, but it's the first time I use it. Okay, so... I'm already fixing the front, you see? I'm putting a little bit higher. And at the same time, I'm thinking of a front face that is a little bit more modern, okay? So, I, I am tracing, but at the same, I'm same, time, same time, I'm really already rethinking, you know, what I'm doing. Okay, I, I copy the bottom part, which doesn't change, okay?
Ok. Now another thing I did, I made also this front end a little bit more rounded, you see? It's a big difference the way it was before. Now it's a lot a lot more round. Okay, now I would like to take two things. First of all, I would like to make the wheels a little bit better. And I want also to make this line clean. We need clean line. Okay, then we make the line of the shadow which is this one, right? Then the cast shadow of the car. Okay, here. You see? And now that I made those lines, I know that I can uh, that I can uh, take my circle template and make the wheels really much much better. Okay, so first of all, let's make this wheel. Right, I'll push it a little bit in the front just a little those are like circles those are circles so this is important because now we have the base that has a really secure correct you know and now I can put the circles to, to make uh, the pneumatic part. I show you how I do it. And after the pneumatic part, we have the rim. So we have to sketch the rim. To do that, I will use some, uh, some circles. And after we're gonna play inside with uh, with a little bit of creativity to design the spokes and everything else. So can you see the wheels? Okay, so here we have a center, which is of course a little bit more on the left because of the perspective, you see? So now you have the wheels that are in perspective. Then we have another line, which is this one. Also, it's a kind of straight line.
Then we have our belt line. You see, I alternate things that are done freehand with things that are not freehand, that are uh, with some tools. That's normal. Okay, but uh, the lines, I will kind of leave it like that. You know why? Because after now we have to put the, the marker. And once we are finished with the markers, then I will go back to the lines to make a better quality lines. It's normal. All right. So now I want to sketch the reflection. Okay, so what do you think? Hey, Frederick, I'm doing fine, thanks. I'm here, thanks for being here. Making a new sketching live section. This time we're gonna make this uh, three quarter front based on uh, a very simple perspective we take uh, the side view and we transform the side view into a front okay i show you the original design i mean first sketch we made which was this one okay which was a quick sketch okay to to just nail down perspective proportions to make sure that the, all the most things were basically in place and now we are going to make uh, this one, which is uh, better. The only thing that I want to do, it's, I want to change a little bit. Oh, sorry. I want to change a little bit this one, the light, because it looks not that nice. Okay, it's better proportion like that. All right, so now that we did that, let's let's start sketching. And this time, let's use the warm, you know, the, the, the cool the cool colors. They are here because this is a blue line. Therefore, we can use those tones, you know, to make uh, to make the sketch. So I will try to be to use a dark blue, okay, for the shadows, a light blue for the reflection, a little bit of the violet for the cool color, and then I will take a, a color from another marker, which will be the warm, the warm one, okay? So first of all, let's start with the dark blue. All right, let's do it. Nice. Okay, so when we sketch with markers, we have to be a little bit patient, okay, to make sure that uh, what we do, it's not messy. Sometimes it's difficult also for me, believe me. Say same thing in the back here i got a message now we'll go and check who is because now now that my telephone is free all 
okay then another part where we'll put it's the reflection right then here and here okay so we're always doing a sketch okay so don't forget that all right let me see who is uh, aspetta just a second uh, okay so now as you can see this is the first layer of the marker now uh, now when we use uh, this marker we can go back and make it more darker you know and that's what i want to do but i i wait that it dries okay so while it's drying let's go and use another marker you know this one the very light blue okay and let's use this light blue for the reflections you know like that for example you know look how nice that's really nice Now I am putting the value knowing what is how the section is. All right? Okay. Now let it dry. You, you can see already how nice is this front end. We can see the shape. It's still not finished, not finished yet. Wait. I, let me put it correctly so that you can see better. Hey, RV Car Design. I'm happy that what we are doing today is what you are interested in. That's great. Very happy. Okay, so now we have to do the wheels and also we have to use the marker for uh, the sky tone what uh, remember the, the what i used to say the the core when you use the chalk here we don't use chalk so let's let's do it it's like painting you know Okay, let it dry and we do the same thing here. Okay. All right, so now that uh, we put all the first value tone, I just wait that it dries and I go back with the dark blue. So 
so that I can make really dark what has to be really dark. So the back part will be really dark because it's really in dark shadow but the front part not that much so it will be more like you see like that now reflection That's it. Now with the blue we are finished. Now I take back, I take this, let, let me see those two values, which one is probably better. Maybe this one. Yeah, this one. This is uh, for the reflections. Now, let's let's take again this one and let's complete Okay, so for the, 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 the light colors, I think I'm done. Now I have to take this color, which is that violet, because we want to give a little bit of this uh, warm, the uh, scusa, excuse, sorry, of this uh, cool, okay, this cool effect. So I'll put it here, look. We put a cool in the front and warm on the side. So the sun is going to be on this side. And on the other side, we do not have the sun. You see how cool the, 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 the tone became now. So here we have this type of violet, very light violet. 
Okay, so this is done. Now let's go and search for a nice warm tone. The ones I have here, they are too strong. I need to find one that is light, like a light yellow, unless it's gonna be messy. And I don't want to be messy. Let me search. Yeah, maybe this one. Okay, so now we're gonna put the warm part here, all right? It's a little too strong. Ah, let me see if I can find another one which is a little bit lighter. Yeah, this one. Okay, but anyway. We are in California with a nice sunshine. Okay. So what is left now to do? Well, very simple. Now we work again with the pencil. We will work with the white pencil, okay? And after we will apply some gouache. You will see that the thing will will start to, you know, to come out of the paper. So first of all, Let's fix this line quality. Now is the time. So, okay. Okay, now let's do it on top. All right. A little bit on the reflection, just a little to make sure that we get the darkest spot where we really need it, okay?
Okay. And now... Okay, you see? Now it's becoming, the contrast is getting really strong. Just a little bit of door cut, okay? All right. I should use again the dark blue because uh, we have to show that there is a uh, in transparency. We have the pillar. You see? Now we have the pillar there. And now the last thing that we need to do it's A sort of a design for the wheels, I mean, a, a minimum. Okay, so I go back and I take uh, the dark blue. And I put the dark spot where I imagine there is a hole. You see? Well, th those, those ones should be done correctly. I mean, really think about a nice design. Thing that I very rarely I do. I, I never pay too much attention to the wheels. I never done many wheels in my life as a designer. Okay, so I take uh, this one. Put a little bit of shading so that it, be, it looks believable. You see? It's not that bad. So what do you think? So far? Tell me.
Okay, now I'll take my white, okay? And I start adding the white where I need it. So I go from the top coming down, okay? That's what I want to do. Thank you, Berga. Thank you. So, first of all, I want to put the line, the, the white line here. Then we have another one here. And here. Okay, so you see already just the little white line. We already have a feeling of three-dimensional door in the, in the door cut, which is pretty nice. Thank you, Oliver. So now let's put a little bit of glare of light. That's nice. That's what I really like. Pretty nice. Look how nice that glass. I had to show you. Can you see? Thanks, Mamprit. Look at that glass. Now we'll put some white gouache. You will see that it, it, it will sparkle. Okay, so another thing we have to do, we have to put a white line here. Okay, now... The other white line goes here. Another one goes here. Here. A little bit a little bit of shading on the on the wheel you know the, the point of the, the the highlights there is always highlights also on the on the pneumatic here too a little bit a little bit less here Okay, now one thing I have to do, I have to push this really dark, those holes. They are not too dark. So I go with my pencil and I just hit hard to make sure that that becomes hard. Because I really, I really need contrast. Unless when I will put the, the, the white gouache for the last lightest contrast, it won't look good. So that's what I'm doing now. And the same thing I'm doing here in the center. So I really want that to, to be shiny and crisp.
All right. So now the last thing we have to do is the white wash. So let me take uh, the paint and my preferred brush, which is this one. Okay. So it's a double zero, double zero. This is very good. Those are very nice. Very good quality. Okay. All right. Okay. Now that I put the gouache the same thing, I go from the top coming down, okay? So first of all, I need a line here. Okay, that's the first thing. Then the second thing, it's on the side. Because now I'm thinking about my focal point. My focal point is in this area. So, I really want to make sure that that white is white. here okay so now we can put a little bit here Now, the last part where we have to put a little bit of white gouache, it's going to be here, 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 you see, a little bit here. A little bit here. It's not going to be too strong here. just to show that there is the white. You see? So we get the feeling of the pneumatic. Okay, so now I can take uh, my marker, sign it, all right. Today is the 2 of February, 21. So, how do you like it? Tell me, let me know. So we did two.
You see? Let's do this way so that you can see really well how we started, okay, and how we ended up. So at the end, you see, it's, I mean, it looks complicated, but it is not complicated. Thank you, Frederick. It's just that we have to know the right steps. You know, first thing we have to build a sketch that gives us the idea of the proportions, more or less and de design, something like that, it's where you have some good ideas. But the most important thing is that the perspective, things are well placed. That's a very good start. After that, we can go, we retrace it and we make a marker or chalk. You know, we, I could have used also chalk. So here on this one, we see that uh, basically we have, I just put it closer, we have a warm, warm and cool tones, you see? So that's something really nice because this makes uh, the whole sketch much more believable in terms of color. Thank you, Yash, thank you. And then we have a feeling of uh, where is the light, where is the shadow, and things look correct because they have been sketched correctly. Then we have the highlights and the focal points.